All right, well, I've uh, worked some more with this um, ball magnet motor idea, motor generator, and uh, I changed the circuit to a self-start circuit. And uh, it is something that I worked on a few years ago, back in 2011. A bunch of us did. And so I pulled out one of my old circuits, one of my self-start circuits, and uh, modified it slightly to run with this, uh, this ball magnet in a coil. And um, this is the uh, 23rd of August, 2013, on lid motor. And what this does now is it lets you um, self-start the circuit uh, without having to use the other magnet. So you just self-start it. Probably hear that start up. It blinks and then it starts running. And it'll run on uh, one and a half to three volts, five to about 12 milliamps. And there's the circuit. Now, this uh, on the one I'm running is about 5K. But if you put a potentiometer there, you can ad adjust it for whatever your inductance is for your coil. And this has to go into a blink mode. And what that does is it starts turning that magnet. And once the magnet starts turning, it feeds back energy and it goes into a faster and faster oscillation. And a bunch of us worked on this um, for quite some time. Uh, Smart Creations uh, had a real nice circuit that he came up with. And uh, Soul Robotics Pendulum Circuit is what we, we basically um, used as a uh, model and then went to this. But this, like I say, now self-starts. And you don't have to use the magnet. And there it is running. You probably hear it slightly. But uh, there's something else I wanted to show here, and that's a demonstration of how this uh, can be fed through material, that magnetic gearing that I showed in my other videos. And I've got a scenario here where Maggie's got her new Lidmobile electric car. This is a simulation of what's in the future. And she's got the lithium battery powered car, basically. And she goes out and she does her shopping. And she comes back to the garage, and this simulates the garage, and she drives her lidmobile right to a certain spot in the garage, and then uh, the car charges itself up through, through the wall of the garage. And what's going on right now is that ball magnet is spinning in that coil and it's causing this lithium battery to get charged um, and uh, you can call this wireless if you want to uh, it's not a transmission of energy it's a transference of energy from that spinning ball inside that coil run by that circuit and then it's uh, charging up this battery through a remote pickup coil and they're already doing this. This is not uh, science fiction anymore. This is how this is actually being done. Uh, there's a group up in Canada that's, uh, I think, applied for the patents. And uh, this is probably how we're going to be doing our charging, I think, rather than straight induction, is with this uh, idea of using a rotating magnet. Okay, Maggie's got her car charged, and off she goes to the mall to do more shoe shopping so she can buy more shoes and that's the energy that's gotten into her little uh, lid mobile from the garage anyway that's just uh, a demonstration of what I think we're heading toward is uh, remote charging stations for electric cars perhaps using rotating magnets to transfer the uh, energy uh, rather than uh, induction uh, straight coil to coil. I think we're going to use these rotating magnets. I think it's more efficient. That's just my thought on it. Anyway, that's the latest with my little uh, ball magnet motor. Thanks for watching.